Did you guys see Jeffrey Tubin on CNN on Thursday? I don't know how many of you have read Jeffrey Tubin's books. I think he's a very talented writer. Been with the New Yorker, I believe, for 27 years since he started covering the OJ trial for them all the way back then. Uh, and he was fired because he was masturbating during a Zoom call and many of his co-workers saw that. Fired by the New Yorker, suspended by CNN, they brought him back on the air Thursday afternoon to discuss his behavior and they had a female host walk through everything that he had done. That was incredibly awkward television. CNN can make any decisions that they want to make but this was ironic to me because a little bit less than four years ago I went on CNN and said I supported the First Amendment and boobs and the network lost its mind and banned me from being able to appear on the network anymore. I'm probably going to write about this because I think it's such an interesting storyline. I wasn't being paid to go on CNN. I was just a guest. So someone explained to me how Jeffrey Tubin can be caught masturbating on a Zoom call by his coworkers, go on CNN in the middle of the day talk about that and be allowed to be paid as a CNN employee but I'm not allowed as a guest to go on CNN and say I believe in the First Amendment and boobs because that's unacceptable television. So wait a minute. One of your employees can be caught masturbating during work can go on television say that he's excited to be back after seven months because he's been working at some food banks that's okay but me going on as a guest and saying I support the First Amendment and boobs totally unacceptable to CNN. Look, I don't believe in cancel culture but what I do believe is consistency. If you are going to say what I said is completely unacceptable to appear as a guest on CNN how can you employ Jeffrey Tubin when he has been caught masturbating in front of coworkers? Again, I think Jeffrey Tubin is a very talented writer but that doesn't mean he deserves the right to be a CNN employee and it certainly should call into question anybody out there who said oh Clay Travis can't appear on CNN but Jeffrey Tubin can. What sense does that make from a logical perspective? There is none. And we talk a lot about privilege now in America today. White privilege and systemic racism and everything else. But we don't talk enough about Democrat privilege. The mainstream media gives passes to Democrats based on their politics. Brett Kavanaugh raked over the coals for an alleged high school misbehavior of which there's no actual evidence of. Joe Biden gets accused by Tara Reid one of his former employees of sexual harassment and nobody really covers it. It just vanishes. Jeffrey Tubin can go on CNN even though he's caught masturbating in front of co-workers nobody really cares. Kamala Harris can go down to Guatemala and Mexico and say almost the exact same thing as Donald Trump except arguably way less eloquently believe it or not and almost no one cares about it at all. Hunter Biden can drop an N-bomb in text message. Morgan Whalen Morgan Wallen uh, Kyle Larson Mimi Groves a 15-year-old girl who wants to be a University of Tennessee cheerleader they all get written about to the nth degree by the New York Times nothing at all happens to Hunter Biden. This isn't fair and equal treatment. This is if your politics are the right politics then you are allowed to get a pass by the mainstream media just like Jeffrey Tubin is because his politics are the right kind. My position to you is pretty straightforward. Your politics shouldn't matter. Your race shouldn't matter. Your religion shouldn't matter. Your ethnicity shouldn't matter. Your sexuality shouldn't matter. Everyone in America should be treated the same if we are going to apply standards of cancel culture then it should be applied evenly across the board. It's not being applied evenly. And so to me what we really have 
is cancel culture isn't about speech at all. It's about power. And the ultimate privilege isn't white privilege and the ultimate racism isn't systemic in this country. If you are a Democrat, you can get away with anything. That is the truth.